Hi, I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. We're going to take a look at the trailer for the only transgender version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde ever done. It's from Hammer Films. It's Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde, a picture that didn't really cause much of a ripple when it was new, but has um, attracted a growing fan base. Everyone knows there are two sides to the infamous Dr. Jekyll. By day, the man. By night, the monster. Put a woman in your life, a good woman, and one day you'll wake up and you'll see a, a changed man. Now, Hammer believe you too are ready for a change, an absolutely complete change. In 1968, Hammer was given the Queen's Award to Industry for its contribution to the British economy. But if that was the studio's peak, the rest was slowly going downhill. By the 70s, the period horrors were being replaced by modern thrillers set in, quote, swinging London, which didn't pan out. But at least there was an acknowledgement that change was afoot, which led to new approaches to the classic subjects. One of the most striking was Avengers writer Brian Clemens' script for a new take on Jekyll and Hyde to take advantage of the explicitness that had paid off in the highly successful Vampire Lovers. Roy Ward Baker, the talented director of A Night to Remember, was brought in for the last of six Hammer pictures, and some clever casting convinces us that Dr. Jekyll, Ralph Bates, has actually transformed himself into his evil female alter ego, played by the ravishing former Bond girl Martine Beswick. Clemens' inventive script brings in Burke and Hare as cadaver suppliers from which Jekyll derives the female hormones that will supposedly extend his life, but instead switch his gender, and brings in some Jack the Ripper connections as well. Man or woman? Or both? In this film, you will actually see the sinister Dr. Jekyll change in mind and body into the totally evil Sister Hyde. It is I who exist, Dr. Jekyll, not you. It is I who will be rid of you. The lurid ads by American distributor American International warned the sexual transformation of a man into a woman will actually take place before your very eyes. Well, not quite. At least not in the U.S. prints. At this point, AIP was cutting their R-rated acquisitions to qualify for drive-in friendly PG ratings, and no nudity is on view in the shorter U.S. version, which has since been replaced, thankfully, by the uncut European original, which is the version that's available on DVD. Fascinating situation, don't you think? It'll be interesting to see who wins. 